Well, uh, I want to introduce you to the uh, MH4 LED uh, headlight that uh, comes with the um, the LED Canadian headlight assembly. If you order the uh, Canadian style headlight uh, assembly for the 2017, this will come pre-wired uh, in the assembly for the Canadian headlight. The Canadians have a low beam and high beam set up in their position that's uh, in that vacant position uh, on the inboard side of your normal headlights that are on the outside. Um, I'll show you that in a little bit, but uh, I want to show you something and uh, tell you something that may happen to you and you won't even know it. <clears throat> when you receive your Canadian style headlight assembly with the LED headlight uh, already in, the plug uh, is already installed. Someone did that at the factory. Uh, they installed a plug so it's ready to plug in. Some people order the standard halogen headlight for the Canadian style and uh, it comes already wired up with a three prong plug. So you don't have to do that. But some people have taken a a less expensive route and ordered the Canadian style headlight assembly with the halogen light which is cheaper then go online and order these uh, LED M4 headlights which it shows you it has a high of 26 watt low of 13 watt so with the three wires they give you the ability to actually have a low beam and high beam, which uh, the outside lights, headlights on a standard uh, slingshot uh, do not have. The high beam feature is in the center lights, and I'm gonna address that separately in a little bit. Right now, I'm uh, dealing with the uh, uh, Canadian style LED headlights. Uh, when I installed mine, I noticed that one light was dim and the other light was bright, these particular ones. And in investigating, I found that the wires were reversed uh, on the one. Uh, the two were not wired exactly the same, meaning one of them was wrong. Well, I assumed right off the bat that the one that was dim was wrong and the one that was bright was correct. But what I have discovered uh, through reading in the shop manual about the uh, Canadian style headlights uh, and the standard uh, headlights is that uh, the white lead is low beam, the, uh, the green lead is ground, and uh, the blue lead is your, uh, I'm sorry, is your high beam. And that's what it says right here. White is low, green is ground, or your common, and blue is the high beam. Well, if you get these, if these come reversed and we need to look at the wiring on the, um, on the plug, the factory plug and the slingshot for the Canadian hookup, which if you don't have uh, Canadian headlights, uh, this plug will be sitting there ready. Uh, you're going to see that uh, there is a, uh, a yellow, a solid yellow and a black and a yellow with a pink tracer. The solid yellow is your high beam. So really, the blue lead needs to go to the uh, solid yellow 
the white would go to the yellow with pink tracer and the green would go to the center uh, black ground connection. I'm going to show you this and demonstrate so that you can check your headlights out when you get them to make sure they're proper. Now you can tell they're proper when you uh, hook, hook these lights up all plugged in and go out and observe the headlights uh, when they're in the uh, low beam setting. These lights should be uh, the same brightness pretty much as the standard headlights in the uh, slingshot. Now when you activate the uh, turn, sil uh, turn signal indicator by pulling it forward that goes to the high beam these should brighten up the uh, Canadian style headlight should brighten up and also the center two light should brighten up but the two outside lights uh, the standard headlights uh, should remain um, low beam so that's how they're going to work and I'm going to show you the wiring plug and all of that but right now I'm just demonstrating the light showing you that when you get your if you ordered uh, an led headlight uh, three wire it's got the layout uh, of the colors to help you hook these up uh, properly because if you just order the headlight uh, the led to change out the halogen three uh, three wire you're going to have to to wire these up and repin them and I have a video on that. It's called the LED upgrade. All right, let's uh, check this out. Now, this is my ground. I have one of my uh, uh, drone batteries here, which is 12 volts. And uh, this is a ground connected there. So I'm going to put that on the green wire and avoid uh, shorting anything together I mean it wouldn't be catastrophic with this but it wouldn't be good okay now just to protect your eyes a little bit I'm going to put this over so we don't destroy everything and you'll see um, I'm going to do the low beam first okay now I'm going to touch uh, positive this is positive that's negative 12 volts and you're going to also hear the motor crank up. These lights have an actual fan in them. Now that's the low beam. And you can see it has a nice little uh, spot. Look at the brightness. And now we're going to hook up the high beam. Look at there, much brighter. Okay. So that is the way you can check the um, LEDs out and see which wire and verify and again everything is right here always look at the package and see if there's some instructions about what you're doing and uh, I don't want to show you this but if you kind of hold it off you're gonna see uh, on low beam only two of these four sides are gonna light up and when you have the high beam on, all four of them light up. Now, if you want to drive around all day with the high beams on, if you like that brighter light, then hook the, uh, the blue wire to the solid, uh, uh, actually the, uh, the yellow with pink tracer is your low beam. So you could hook the high beam uh, headlight to the low beam circuit and the high beam will be uh, lit in the low beam operation when you go to high beam it would uh, it would go to low beam it would be reversed if you want that uh, and like the brighter light then you can do it because the center two lights are going to still be your uh, your high beams Okay, there is my Canadian uh, headlight and there's my MH4 
three wire connection. This one is actually the same, but it's a two wire connection. This is your out, uh, outside headlights, the factory uh, standard Polaris uh, slingshot headlights, high beam, low beam. And uh, I have them hooked up backwards here because um, I didn't understand them in the beginning and uh, I just compared the two as I said and uh, hooked them up the way the bright one was. You see the blue wire right here is going to the low beam side. That's yellow pink. This is the ground right here in the center. This is the factory uh, slingshot wiring and this is the headlight side. The yellow here is your uh, high beam. Well, if you see, when I switch to high beam, I'm actually going to have the low beam side of the headlight to light. If I want it in the correct position, I will have to take this uh, uh, plug loose, and I'm going to show you. And what I would have to do is take these pins out, and I have a procedure to show you that on one of my videos, uh, uh, LED upgrade. And now these are the way the pins are in the plug, and uh, we'll show you that. I'll show you the plug right here, and what we're going to do is we're going to slide this dental tool into the slot there. That's what the plug looks like uh, when you got the clip up, uh, the locking mechanism <clears throat> like this. You can kind of clearly see the s slot in there. Now what you're looking at <clears throat> is this. <clears throat> and what you're doing is you're sticking your probe in and you're pushing down on this little tine right there. That is locking behind a little uh, piece of plastic holding the pin in position. So this is what you have to do. Now I'm going to see if we can get you in there. Now I'm only going to remove, I'm going to remove the two wires here white and blue and then I'm going to reverse them. Now look at it and make sure if you look there's an A, there's a B, and there's a C here. So we're going to put blue on C, white on A. So write that down so you don't get confused. You only got two wires here. I'm going to take this one loose. <clears throat> so now I just push this down in through there and pull on actually first I'm sorry we have to pull this little clip this holds everything in place put that over to the side and notice how it went in <clears throat> and again put that in there and you see this will just come right out of there. And you can see the little tine there. And you may have to later bend this back up so that it'll lock in position. But right now, we're just taking it loose. So I'm just pushing it in there and also pulling. <clears throat> now, just pull that out. Pull that one out. And now, I'm going to switch them around and put this guy on this end. And we're just going to look up in there and you twist it until it will go. So again, you can look at the plug wires. You want white with the uh, yellow pink, and it will be. So I'm correct. Once I get that in, I'm good. Now, 
what you do is take this and you want to pull until it snaps into place there that one clicked into place and if you'll notice it's supposed to be up high so it's locked in that one got back a little bit okay and then move this guy over to his location and again put him in like that looking in there getting him lined up and with your long nose pliers give him a full pull and there and they should be locked in place <clears throat> and then you put this back on which uh, might be a little easier said than done but if you just kind of wiggle around it'll go on there okay and now plug these back together <clears throat> And I'll have to do the other side over there because I want them correct. <clears throat> now I have my low beam going to low beam white over there. And that is A, <clears throat> ground is B, I didn't mess with that. And blue C goes to my high beam. So now when I operate my lights, they'll all work correctly. The center headlights uh, operate differently. <clears throat> they have a shutter on them, and I'll explain that. Uh, but when you switch to your high beams uh, for uh, the full high beam uh, headlights, uh, these are your two high beam headlights here, and uh, they're the ones that switch to the high beams to give you more light. The outside headlights all stay in the low beam. Now, what switches you to high beams is not increasing the illumination of the uh, headlight or the uh, the uh, uh, light bulbs. Let's say that I have the LEDs. What they do is they have a shutter which is controlled right here. That when you uh, flip your uh, high beam zone with the turn signal by pulling it. A signal is put to, onto these leads which activates a shutter which gives more light uh, out. And I'm going to show you that uh, view. It's an actual uh, shutter and, and if you've ever turned the headlights on you'll notice there, there's a delay and then a click sound. That's these this shutter down there operating. There's one here and one on the other side. All right, ready. We're going to demonstrate the headlight operation of low beam first. There. Everything is low beam uh, and uh, you can see what low beam looks like and how it's affected. Now I'm going to uh, go to high beam. That's high beam, uh, and you can see the difference. Low beam. You can kind of hear the shutter operate on those two center headlights. High beam, low beam.